Okay, this is a uh, bunch of tricks about rendering layers. Um, you can basically click on any attribute and add it as a absolute override. Um, so that's true for stuff like the file path where it saves, um, the start frame, the end frame, uh, each camera, and then stuff like um, the shader, shader color, um, and um, like ray depth and AA samples. That can be just about anything can be um, if you right click and create absolute override. Uh, relative will only add to what you have. Um, so let's go through. Um, this is what I have for my render layers. Um, so it's basically start out with a collection and then start right clicking and then adding to that collection um, absolute overrides. So um, let's go ahead and just trash these. Um, so, let's see, so I'm going to start out with these three file paths here to render my images, and then I have three objects. This one is, um, uh, transparent. Um, it's a piece of glass sphere. Um, you can do that by right clicking on preset and um, just add the preset uh, glass and do replace. Um, and that that's so that I can check the uh, right click and change the ray depth for um, transmission. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, and then this one is just a basic shader, and this one's a basic shader. Um, but, so let's go to, click them all, and then add a collection. So now these objects in this collection will apply to this layer. Um, so if I didn't want this one, like the cube, then I, I just wouldn't add it. Um, okay, so now if you look, in here I have three cameras. Um, and Let's say I just want it to render, um, uh, let's say camera one. Oh, okay, so like um, when you're in the master layer, you need to set um, your frame range from one to whatever the frame ranges. Um, let's say, let's just say for this case 20, um, and then actually add all your cameras. So on the master layer, um, you need to have it visible and rendering um, to set up the initial parameters for the overall scene. And then you click 
to eyeball and then you can actually adjust um, each um, attribute. So let's do create an absolute override for both these and then I can do in frame and change that to 10 and then I can say make that an absolute override and then this one I'll just leave the same Let's see how it says rendable and then these ones I'll turn off right click add and it's basically the shape node that is piping in um, and then make it not rendable Okay, and then you can do stuff like add a different size. Oh, I guess it won't let me do that. Yeah. Um, it's almost like you can pretty much right click on anything and change it. So let's do this. Let's do. Click that for zero transmission. Um, and I, I do have a light in the scene. It's just one light. You could um, add more samples to a light if you wanted to and um, create create uh, an absolute override for that too or even the AA samples. If you're rendering something pretty heavy, then you can crank that up. Um, so, oh, I was going to do file path. Okay. Um, so, right click, make that absolute override. And um, so now it's going to um, this file. And then let's do. Edit, copy, paste. Oops. Copy, paste. Okay, so this is basically the same, it's the same collection, and the cameras, and the render settings. Um, oh, there's one other thing I wanted. So on the shader of the cube, I want to change the color. Okay. And then let's say you start out with white. Um, do copy, paste. Okay, so we have the collection, the cameras, the render settings, and the shader color. So, um, in the render settings, let's make the end frame. 
Kramer. 15. And start frame. 10. And uh, the ray depth. Let's make it. Let's make it after my 10. And then the file path. Um, and then Collection remains the same, uh, and let's don't render camera one, and let's render camera two, and let's no, I'll leave that all crazy, and then we'll change the color to red. And then let's do uh, another duplicate. And <coughs> let's go through the render settings. So let's do um, 20. And start frame 15. And let's just leave the GI up. Um, and then the file path. Change it to C2. And then. this guy off and render um, camera 3 which was off okay and then let's change the color to black um and just so you know um because I duplicated these layers, uh, I wasn't, uh, I didn't have to like add it, add the attributes, so it was a lot easier. But if you ever want to add it, you have to have um, both these checked. Um, it has to be visible and rendable. Um, so like, oh, let's see, let's do that one. So I could do add absolute override to visible layer. So it adds it right here. But I'm not going to do that. Um, okay, and then let's go to rendering. All renderable layers, all renderable cameras, and render sequence. Okay, I made a mistake with the file path, um, uh, so it did work, but 
it didn't stick it in the files. So uh, what the problem was is that it's um, it's not going in to the folder. So let's do that. Again, so the sphere is showing up black because it's it has no ray depth. It's supposed to be glass. Um, so that's just like many attributes you can mess with, and there's lots of things you can do with the lights. Um, you know, just about anything you wanted. Like, if you had something, um, like fur or something, and you wanted to render it separately on a separate layer, and then crank up the samples, um, you could do that. So let's take a look at the folder. So the other thing you could do is, if you didn't want, um, the master layer, you can just turn this off. Because um, it is going to go through and render 1 through 20 on the master layer, and then not on the uh, other render layers. See what we got. So mm -hmm. um. So, um, a lot of the stuff with the shaders you mess with, like, um, like I just mess with the color. Um, and then this one, uh, it's transparent. Uh, it looks that way because of uh, the sky dome I have in here. So yeah, that's basically it for render layers. Um, definitely a lot of tricks you can play. Uh, thanks for your time.